Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Ethan Nguyen. And I'm Dion Gandhi. Today is Monday, February 27th, and we're here with your daily announcements. The 2022 to 2023 yearbook is on sale for $90. You can get one by scanning the QR code on screen. Junior prom is around the is around the corner, and all the tickets are $60 and can be bought at the student store. The due date for guest passes is March 3rd, and the last day to buy tickets is March 8th. Please go to the Med Pathways fundraiser at Sprinkles on Top on Monday, March 6th from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Be sure to mention CEO's Med Pathway or show them the flyer. Also, if you want to have a chance to win a $15 gift card or of your choice, be sure to take a selfie of you and your Froyo slash ice cream and send it to MedCareer's Instagram account or email Miss Wilson. It's been, it's been pretty rainy the past couple of days. Let's check out weather with Sterling. I'm Sterling and I'm here with your weekly weather forecast. And today we have a lot to cover, so let's get right into it. If you're not a big fan of the rain, you'll have to deal with it for at least two more days. It's going to rain all day today and there's a chance of thunderstorms and heavy rain in the afternoon, with rain continuing overnight and tomorrow. Also, there's a wind advisory for 20 to 30 mile an hour winds and gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour. We will also be dipping once again into those lower temperatures with lows around the, around the 40s and, and highs of the upper 50s. Uh, and as, as the week goes on, we will be gaining some wider swings in temperatures with highs in the upper 50s and lows in the low 30s. Now on to other weather news. California is continuing to experience some more out of the normal weather and weather it, it, and last week, the Weather Service in San Diego issued its first ever blizzard warning, with warnings in Los Angeles and Ventura counties as well. In the Northern California, there, there has been snow reported as low as 1,000 feet, and even more snow is to be expected on top of already high snowpacks. Some places in the Sierra Nevada, such as Yosemite, are anticipating especially high snowfall, with 55 to 84 new inches of snow in Yosemite Valley to be anticipated through Wednesday. Sacramento has also seen its share of snow-like activity with parts of Northern California reporting grapple last week. Grapple comes from snowflakes that have fallen through supercooled water droplets, thus coated in ice. It looks similar to hail, but it's not quite the same. And finally, the national, uh, in national weather news, a derecho has been occurring in the Midwest. A derecho is, the, is a widespread, long-lived, straight-line windstorm associated with fast-moving groups group of thunderstorms. This storm has brought on a blizzard warning, hurricane force winds, and anticipation of tornadoes from EF2 to EF3. Well, that's all I've got. Have a great week, humans, and I'll see y'all next week. Back to the Anchors. This is it. Armageddon has begun. It's been nice knowing you. It's just rain. Calm down. You too, Sterling. Any Okay, besides that, now let's check out today's BSU Fun Fact of the Day. What's up, CO? My name is Sterling, and here's your Black History Month Fun Fact of the Day. Mildred and Richard Loving left their home state of Virginia to get married. They were warned by Virginia state officials that getting married would be a violation of state law, as Richard was white and Mildred was not. When they re returned home, Mildred was promptly arrested. When she was finally released, the couple re was referred to American Civil, Li Civil Liberties Union by Robert Kennedy. The ACLU, seeing an opportunity to end anti-miscegenation laws, jumped at the chance. After making their way through local and state courts, Loving v. Virginia was put before the Supreme Court, and the bans on interracial marriage were deemed unconstitutional. It was a landmark victory for couples of different races, and the Lovings were often heralded as being catalysts for making it happen. The last law for formally prohibiting interracial marriage was overturned in Alabama in 2000. Look out for more Black History fun facts throughout the month presented by your Black Student Union. And see you next time. Love truly conquers all. It's time to select a student board member for EGUSD. Student board applications are due to Mr. Hadegi. There are requirements for the position, so make sure you check out the newsletter for more information. 
Good news, y'all. Elk Grove um, Unified School District has announced that they will be covering all AP exams for all tests. These tests will only be for this year, so good luck. That's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Dino Gandhi. And I'm Ethan Newen. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Pokemon, Pokemon Day, Wolf Pack. Day.